This week we head down to Terrigal on the New South Wales Central Coast for a surf carnival day. And then back up to Newcastle to Tomigo to the old Forjack shipbuilding site. You might have seen it while going across the Hexham Bridge. And I show you my backyard, Newcastle Beach. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying. One of my corporate customers asked me if I could go down to Terrigal on the Central Coast and do a drone fly of their carnival day. I was a bit nervous because so many people about. We cleared it with all the powers to be and this is the result. A little bit of CPR training for the little ones before they head out onto the beach. The IRBs heading out to set up the course. Everyone at the carnival knew the drone was going to be there filming and they all wanted to be in the shot. A very popular piece of equipment, this floating pontoon. things that blew me out of the water was that every single person there either wanted to be in their race or be involved or help out in some way. You'll notice not all the footage is taken with my drone. I actually gave the guy who hired me who was involved in the event day a GoPro Silver and he filmed from the ground and had that with him the whole time so I used a little bit of his footage as B footage. See in the background there the drone guy motorhome, one of the hardest things to keep out of the shot no matter how far you park it away. This would have to be one of the most nerve-wracking jobs I've ever done. One, you're over water the virtually the whole time. Two, there are so many people. I think there was nearly a, a, a a thousand people in and around this event you've got kids running around wanting to talk to you not are you just watching what's going on through the camera but you're looking left right behind the drone in front of the drone and what else is going on around you these little ones here were the most excitable bunch I've ever seen. It was like they needed wild horses to keep them back from from going off the line. Um, everyone on the day was excited about their race but these kids I had a little bit of a giggle about because they were just so so keen. The same with this group of kids. The board stood nearly as high as them. They ran their hearts out, <laughs> got excited, kicked their legs like nothing else. But yeah, it's um, sometimes you get a little bit of pleasure out of watching, you know, the excitement and you want to be a kid again. For this job I was not just asked to do the drone fly but get some ground footage, get some photos 
and also a little bit of Osmo work um, and put a video together at the end of it so what you're seeing here is just snippets of what I've put together there is a finished video that I gave the customer but that's for their use and this is bits of footage I've used of the whole day to try and get as much as I could for them for their video that they needed to be put together the weather wasn't perfect for what we were trying to achieve but with the time frame we had we had to go with the weather we had So a big thank you to Terrigal Surf Life Saving Club and all the people involved. A good day had by all, I hope. So here we are at Tomago, the old four-jack shipbuilding and submarine building site just outside of Newcastle. I remember this place as a kid, used to head along the M1, what it is now, and off to the right when you're heading over the Hexham Bridge you could see all the big cranes in the distance. So this job was booked by a company in Perth organised for me to go on site. I was quite excited because I'd never been on this site before or even this far down. As you can see, it's no longer a shipbuilding or submarine building site, it's a preformed concrete site for the construction industry. We are, we are dreaming in the dark, we are nothing more than dust, search for you, stay lost, we are. On this particular job, I didn't have the customer with me, so I just had to run from the brief. I had a person with me at all times to keep me safe but I just had to film from the brief not the customer's instructions on the job the old cranes left over from the shipbuilding and submarine building days. This site is way bigger than I ever thought. owners are building more new sheds. So this is one of the shots I did at the start of the shoot. As you can see in the background there's a bit of fog around. When I got to the site there was a you, you couldn't see sky full stop. You didn't know what the day was like so I hung around for a little while, the fog lifted, I did this first shot and by the time I did my other work the fog had all cleared and it was fine. The unique flying I had to do with this job was at a distance. Yes I moved around the site but to keep your eye on the drone, especially a little DJI Phantom 4 Pro, 
it turns into a little speck at the distance for a site this size. One of the things I love about my job is that I get to see things that normal person doesn't get to see every day. Yeah, the workers on this site probably find this normal, but to someone like myself, it's a uh, it, it's quite special to be able to get on a site like this and and do what I do. So welcome to my backyard. This is where I spend most of my afternoons. I come down to the beach, make myself a nice green tea, trying to get on a health kick, and enjoy the afternoon. Walks on the beach, run into a rainbow. There's nothing better for me is water. Water, I believe, washes your soul, and walking barefoot on the beach every afternoon, one to try and keep fit. Um, which I'm not doing a very good job of at the moment but I'll get there once I get back into the pool and back onto my bike but yeah it's it's quite a special place Newcastle this is the beach that virtually runs off the center of Newcastle so yeah lucky lucky to have this as my backyard at the moment This particular afternoon I come across this little fella, Pippi, trying to bury himself. I didn't have my iPhone ready to do the shoot so I had to set it up a couple of times and this is the end result. I think he was tired by the, <laughs> by, by the time I got my footage. So thank you for watching our video, we really appreciate it. Come join us on the journey, either through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or our website. So on our next shoot, we take you to the old BHP site in Newcastle. I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only then we take you on a shoot on the M1 just past Q between Q and Port Macquarie and show you the process of a road gang resealing part of the M1. Thank you for watching this video. Without your generous support, we would not be able to produce these videos. So please go to our Patreon page and support us, or go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. One of the hazards I find with flying is birds. You can see down lower, the birds flying low over the water, but while I was doing this sh shoot down in Eden, there were these little birds attacking the drone all the time and if you fly the drone away from the birds they tend to keep chasing it but if you fly a little bit towards them it wards them off and then you can get on and continue your shoot. When you want to get off their darkest ground the gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers